am Brazilian um, originally, but I have been very lucky to live in a lot of different places. Um, I have uh, lived in Thailand for a while. I have done a one year uh, exchange program, uh, high school exchange program in Denmark as well. Um, I have uh, done internships, uh, which are part of my undergrad studies in the Maldives, in Switzerland, and in, um, in China as well. So uh, it has been great. So, and now I live in Singapore and I've been here for the past seven years. Yeah, seven years. So when somebody asks like, you know, where's home? It's a little bit of a tricky question, you know, standard replies like, okay, how much time you got? <laughs> But um, basically, that's it. So I graduated from a hotel school and um, I've been working with it ever since in hotel operations. So my previous role was with um, guest relations uh, in, a, in a big hotel, in, a, in the Four Seasons Hotel, actually, here in Singapore. And um, I've always wanted, you know, to, I always knew I wanted to do an MBA. So basically, uh, it was just a matter of when. So what happened was uh, with COVID, uh, when it hit, you can imagine, you know, hotel industry, airlines, especially for Singapore, just very, very reliant on foreign tourists coming in. You know, it was a very, very slow period. It was very difficult. So it was the last push actually to, to go ahead with the MBA plan. It's actually fairly similar. So hotel school, when you talk about hotel school, right, you would think a lot of, you know, practical work, serving tables, working in the kitchen, you know, maybe cleaning rooms. Um, there is that, of course, but this is part of the first year. Uh, the rest of the, the hotel school education is actually um, a whole lot of group projects. So it's a lot of teamwork, working with different people and similar to a business school, there are a lot of nationalities and there's a lot of people coming from different countries, different walks of life. Um, a lot of them actually have even a even more complicated background than mine. They have, you know. So so if you ask them, where are you from? They'll be like, oh, you know, my dad is like half this, half that. My mom is half that, half that other thing. But I was born here, but I was raised there. So it's uh, it's very, very diverse, just as an MBA or a uh, business school. Um, the, the school I went to, it also focused a lot on the business aspect of the, of the hospitality industry. So we did have a lot of courses relating to, you know, marketing, microeconomics, accounting, all, all different kinds of things, which have an overlap with business school. So in a sense, I feel that prepared me for the, the, business, uh, the business school degree, like the MBA, because the, the pace of the, the, the work and the workload and, and the, the format of it even with the group projects is very similar. So in a sense, um, it felt kind of familiar, but for a business school, it's definitely very different. You're on another level in your life. You have work experience, so you can relate what you're having in class to what you've experienced or what you've seen. And you always have those moments where you like click you're like, oh, I remember this time and, you know, I should have been using this or this would have been useful. So it's uh, it's very interesting that way. For hotel school as an undergrad degree, uh, you come in, of course, with very little, if any, experience, maybe a summer job, maybe an internship that you had, or maybe you have your parents in, in the business that they have. So. It is very much preparing you for the, the workplace and giving you different tools and you know um, letting you know what's out there um, preparing you for the practical aspect of it which the hospitality sector is all about actually um, while also giving you insights on the managerial sides of things and the business side of things so that is one thing that a hotel school will do for you um, as opposed to a business school so in a business school, what you will get is, um, first of all, you will get to meet a lot of different people who have done, have, have, have from different backgrounds. Yeah, you can have somebody from finance, consulting, or you can have somebody from energy or from the public sector or from e-commerce, digital media, anything. 
So it's very, it's much more diverse. So while in undergrad, you learn to work with teams, everybody pretty much has um, similar, similar goals and uh, similar backgrounds and a similar um, view of things. In a business school, it's very different. Everybody has their own experiences. Everybody has their own ideas. Everybody has their own uh, beliefs and the way they work. Um, so because people also tend to be older when they're doing an MBA. So you you have a whole lot of different things um, that you have to uh, adjust to as well and, and, and make you work in that sense. So the business school would actually be very, very helpful to just broaden your view and open your mind and remind you that you need to be seeing things from, from a different point of view at all times. It's always, always to your advantage to be doing that. And, um, and it's a good place to do that is in, yeah, in an MBA course. For, for those in hospitality right now, um, it is a very difficult time. It's been um, probably unprecedented. I can't think of a time where this happened before. I mean, on a global scale, you had SARS back in um, 2008, but it wasn't it wasn't to that extent. It was a more localized thing. So um, this is completely different. So for those who are in hospitality right now, if this could be a good time to take a break and ha uh, have a course, have an MBA, do something that will help them be more prepared and be equipped to come back and help the industry bounce back when all of this uh, blows over. So this is one of my plans as well, um, especially because my my MBA um, program here at ESSEC, it focuses on digital transformation. And this is just perfect. It's the thing that you need, especially in hospitality, which is not a very tech forward industry. You know, historically, we're trying to change that, but uh, th this just fits so perfectly well. and. Um, I'm looking forward to when all of this is behind us and then we can start bringing the industry back. It would be interesting time for sure. The decision to join ESSEC in Singapore was, um, I wanted to do the MBA and I was already living and working in Singapore, which is a city where there are a number of very, very good institutions, very, very good programs. Um, you know, the local universities, even some other foreign um, uh, international schools as well. Um, the reason I decided to join a SEC in particular was due to the specialization. So the, the strategy and digital leadership um, focus of the MBA program was something that really um, was very different from all the other programs I, let, I was seeing. And it was something that fit with my goal of you know coming back later after the one year and getting back to the hospitality industry and helping it bounce back or even uh, making a move to another industry just to see um, just to see what is out there you know experience uh, some other um, work environments which would be one of the reasons why I wanted an MBA too so yeah I guess that would be <laughs> It is a French business school, but um, they have the, the main campus in, in France. They have the campus here in Singapore and there's one in Morocco as well. So um, being a French school, of course, you have that, that, that savoir vivre, you know, that little essence of, uh, of a French school. But it is very, very international. Even the, the location that they chose in Singapore, for example. So we're in the middle of the tech pole of, um, of Singapore. So our neighbors are, you know, big companies. We have uh, Royal Dutch Shell, we have Unilever, we have like innovation companies. There's an innovation hub. Uh, a few years back, the first um, tests on um, self-driving cars in Singapore were made here, you know, in, a, in, in, in this area. So it, it, it is a very, very exciting area that they chose. And it's an international campus as well. So you have uh, you have French people, there's a good mix, um, 
a good number. And you, and you would think you wouldn't be like that, right? Since you're in Singapore, it's so far away. You still have like a good number of French students, but you do have many international ones as well. I mean, one interesting fact in my cohort this year, out of all of us, we don't have, uh, there's no Singaporean, which is a very interesting and um, quite unique. It has happened this year. It hadn't happened on previous years, but everybody else is from uh, other countries. So it's very, very international. For ESSEC, there are, there used to be three different uh, pathways. Now there are two. So we have the, so there, there used to be a strategy, there used to be a strategy and digital leadership, and there used to, and there's a luxury um, segment. So now it's combined. So strategy and digital leadership are one. And we also have the MBA in uh, luxury, uh, luxury brands actually. So there is a choice there depending on what um, what you plan to do. So there's a difference as well in terms of the campuses, uh, where uh, they're offered or where you start as well for your, for your journey. When I was thinking of getting the MBA, I was in, um, in a middle management position in, in my career. So I, I was overseeing a small team. I, I had uh, some experience already in that role. And I knew that my education and my experiences and what I had prepared for so far had led me to that place. But in order to uh, continue to grow, I felt that I needed to you know, be prepared for that next uh, step that, that I have. So that was where the MPA uh, came in. So this is what I wanted to do in order to get ready, not immediately. Um, for me, it's not a very um, short term um, goal that I had, but is that as you progress in your career, especially in hospitality, you would never have the, the time, the, the luxury of time to stop for a whole year and you know focus on yourself, focus on, on, on improving yourself and learning new things, getting new tools. Um, so when that time came, uh, I wanted to be ready for it. That's, that's, that's why I figured, um, okay, this is the time and then that's how it happened. To be exposed to, to other areas, um, other industries and, and other careers, uh, that was something that really made a lot of, um, that really connected a lot of thoughts for me. You always, um, you know, you read things or you talk to people and sometimes you're not fully aware of what, what it is that um, they, they might be saying. And during the MBA, this time that I've been here, you talk to so many people from different areas and you have, you know, your classes and you have lectures and you get guest speakers and you have uh, alumni talks and everybody basically is coming from a different background and then you just start to connect all these dots and you see how things are very very linked actually even though you know industries may be different but it's very very um, connected and you start to see that even the challenges that people face in uh, in the workplace in their day-to-day -day at work is not that different it's it's very, very similar. So it's um, it, it's a good experience for me. I've been enjoying that uh, quite a bit. I would say you, you would have two different types, I think, of uh, people in hospitality. You would have the people who went for hotel schools and then they studied and then they got their jobs and worked their way. And then you have the ones who maybe didn't study that much or maybe didn't do a specialized degree and then just started working and worked their way up because hospitality is a very hands-on industry. So it's very, very easy to, to I mean, it's, it's uh, easy to enter, but to have the passion and to actually be able to continue, it takes somebody who really, really loves what they do. So for for both, both of those um, different um, people, I would say if you studied before and you're thinking, okay, maybe, you know, hospitality is not an industry that I would need to have um, 
an MBA or a master's? Um, well, it is changing, as uh, I'd say. Uh, hospitality is about making the guests feel comfortable and, you know, making them feel at home. But we have to remember it's, um, it's also a business and we need to be able to take care of the business first so we can take care of the guests, you know, without the hotel, without the business, there, there's, you can't help the guests. So we, we need that. So we need people with new ideas. We need people who welcome technology, innovation to help, you know, bring the industry that little bit further, you know, to follow what everybody else is doing. <laughs> I would say is that we have um, there, there's the alumni network uh, first of all, so you have people who studied maybe purely here in Singapore or maybe in Morocco or maybe just in France, but it, it really doesn't matter because you're connected um, by the alumni network, and, and that is just great. It, it's the kind of feeling that you would have if you went to a different city and you don't know anybody. You can always uh, reach out to that community, and then you would know someone, and then you know. It would be in good hands, you know, uh, it is that kind of uh, feeling. And uh, apart from that, having that opportunity to have, you know, the, the exchange between the two countries, it's something very, um, very important. The two campuses, they have their differences. So you have the one in France, which is a much bigger place. And um, in France, uh, ESSEC is a very um, well-known uh, institution. And then you have the one here in Singapore, which is smaller. So you have smaller cohort sizes. You have a little bit of more um, a boutique feeling, I would say, being from hospitality. Uh, you have a lot of time with professors. You have a lot of time with your, um, with your colleagues. You get to know all of them very well. And you get those friends, you know, for life, which is great. And so you have basically the best of both worlds when, when you do that kind of experience. So I would, strongly advise um, something like that, uh, an inter-campus experience, an international exposure if you, if you ever have a chance.